Big Melee fans, welcome to another beautiful Monday night. It's time for some Street Fighter! Starting up, we got Kihaku versus Hornet. Sorry for the late start. Bound for a spectacular disaster every so often. Just the law of the universe, baby. All you can do is roll with it. But how's everybody doing out there? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Nothing like looking like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Dojo to Ducky, love it, love it, everything about it. All right, so Nash. Round one. Nash versus Dan, all right. I appreciate Hornet uh, taking the initiative on this Dan. I just saw Underscore doing some good work with Dan last week. Yeah, get him. Gan Gan Gadokens. <laughs> Light Tatsu always a winner. Oh! Look at him winning these poke wars. Nice anti air. Got the cross under. Soul suck. All right, to the corner. Another one. Oh, and that stun. Damn. Just leeching all the power out of him. All right, Kihaku. All right, Hornet doing a little chase down. Ooh, that was a deep ass cross up. Nice, good crush counter. Little outside range to hit with that uh, with that light Tatsu. <laughs> Going for the cancel. Nice. Ah, jump away, Jab. Nice. Gonna come in. Oh, wow. Caught him on the startup of the Tatsu. Very smart. Oh, that would have been free if he was any other Shota. Shoto. Sorry. There's a difference. Oh. We're gonna catch some stuff in the face here. Oh, chip out. Very clever. Very clever. All right, Kihaku takes the lead there. 1 0 so far. And I think we're going back to a character select. So costume or full character? That's the question here. Oh, all right. Wow, these are some uncommon picks. See what happens with this. Not bad. Look at the continuation there. Nice B shift, no break. Just outside vacuum range, bringing him a little close. Ooh. 
It's like, yeah, I've got Moonsault Slayer, but better. No, oh, good pop. Got him with the V-Trig. Toss to the corner. Oh, backbreaker. Got him on the throw shimmy. Oh, not that time. Oh, pop, pop. All right, things aren't looking so good for Hornet right now. Kihaku seems like he's got his number. Ooh, nice mix up on the speed of the uh, Sonic Booms there. Definitely do some good work. Hornet just not able to get in there. Sticking out to Poop. Nope. Oh, Hornet getting tagged. Ooh. Man, you've got to be right on with that uh, with that animation. There's no generosity in that hitbox. There's a free punish. Let's see what he can do. Oh! Kind of surprised this little, uh... Wow. Yaku dumping all the stuff, and... Wow, I would have sworn that Hornet's uh, stand jab would have taken him out of the air, but no, Kihaku takes it. Sorry, folks, I didn't know that wasn't up the entire time. But yeah, 2 0 for uh, Kihaku on that one. All right, up next we have Ultima Orok and Green Ranger. Green Ranger. Oh boy. He is not on. Check here. Check here what's happening. I'm not blind, right folks? Like we we, we don't see him. Let me put these people in order. Ultima Uric. Green Ranger. Hmm. Oh, there he is. I found him, everybody. I found him. Hey. Got him. We got him, folks. We got one. All right, so bites and Ibuki, it looks like. I tell you what, I do kind of miss uh, Green Ranger Zeku though. Like Ibuki's fine, but Zeku was more fun to watch. Do, 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 Don't mind me, folks. Just kicking a random beer bottle. Okay. Looks like it could be fun. Round 
Round one. Fight. Let's get in there. Oh, clean combo. Alright, Green Ranger. Nice. Get the cross up. Rada gets over the anti-air. Nice, nice, nice. Next snap. Ah, not that time. But the EXDP puts things back in Green Ranger's favor. Gets that dizzy. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh. The most magic of pixels. That's the faith pixel. Oops. Forgot to clear out the... <laughs> you gotta earn those two points, Auroch. Whoop! Alright, nice neck. Oh! The jump away, but uh, Auroch not doing anything. No no jump jab, no, no uh, jump fierce, nothing. Or, sorry, jump around house. Whoop. Oh, he opted for, uh, for V-Skill 2. That's definitely a good one if it lands. It covers a lot of ground, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I think he's a little more lethal on, on VS1. Regardless, uh, Green Ranger unfazed takes game one pretty handily. So both taking a little bit of damage here at the start. Green Ranger over jumping. Jumping a lot. And uh, Orok not really doing much to respond to it. Nice side swap there. Okay. Oh! That petered out. Can't back fist the fireball. That's, that's, that's rule one. Yeah, you're right. Rangers jump. Nice air grab. Okay, Green Ranger. Putting the uh, putting the schmooves on Bison here. that was Green Ranger just getting getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Alright, off to a good start for Green Ranger. 2-0 in his first match against Ultima Aura. Yeah, let her call her Dragon Zord. It's fine. Alright, so unfortunately we're going to have to drop Hornet uh, says he's not going to be able to stick around. Um, just uh, what happens sometimes. So when we get to that particular match, we will uh, loser of 10. So yeah. All right. Well, up next, we've got Drooler and Shacky. Shacky, 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 Shacky. There we go. <laughs> wow. I think uh, Weapon X and uh, Kihaku have become kindred spirits in the in the, the Street Fighter chat here. Sky bullied you. You got him. You got a game off of him. Don't be like that. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, that that sounds like you almost had him to me. I don't I don't want to hear nothing about bullied. Reiku, what up? All right, Jeweler's on his way. Hey, if you're like you're like a streamer who who claims like they're getting bullied with super chats. Like, oh no, oh, oh, people are throwing hundreds of dollars at me. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> then makes a YouTube video about it like I got bullied in the super chat <laughs> uh. you hate compliments good because you're not earning any Ow. Was that too mean? That might have been too mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, folks. I have it on good authority that, uh... Drooler is on his way. I don't know what that means. I found his name on the active roster of, of people on CFN. <laughs> At this point, I figure all you need to do is hit a button. Hey! Get get this mana sandwich. <laughs> no, I didn't say he was playing ranked. I said he was in a menu. Now it says he's in a battle lounge. I don't know what to expect. You got gifted a sub, Abe. Eh? That means you get 30 days access to to my my borderline un yeah my borderline interesting uh, emote stack. You know, I need to know with the, with the channel points. I need to make one that's like ridiculously high, like a hundred thousand, and then the hundred thousand like reward is that I just turn off the stream for the rest of the day, and then I then I find out who's really my friends. Guy, are you really at 50,000 points already? Damn. Darklight, I know, dude. You're you are very prompt. You leave the stream open for pretty much all the tourneys. You're you're always that one, aren't you? Uh, Ave, are you next? Uh, you guys can go ahead. Yeah, uh, l lower bracket can go ahead and just play play their match. All right, we got Drooler. They're here. Time for Shacky Drooler. And uh, don't forget to hit that Macharino, folks. It looks like somebody already contributed like five dollars to it. Some hero. Some 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 master of masters. That was Reckless Weasel. Thanks, Reckless. Yo, Reckless is the homie. All right. Let me shh, chat. Come here. Come here, a sec. Chat. Shh, 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 shh. Reckless. Reckless. Reckless is is the homie. Okay, he will he will come get you out of jail. Motherfucker will climb into jail with you. All right, at 3 a.m. This man is the homie. All right, he will he will get in jail. He will sit with you. <laughs> he he will read you Harold and the Purple Crayon until you sober out and they let you go. Round one. Fight. Anyway. Yeah, it's a Nikali, all right. It's a Nikali that's getting uh, robot SPD'd over here. Nice. 
Nice. Gets around the opposite side. A little bit of armor twing, but nothing he can't handle. Ah, light toe tip. Light toe tip. Oh, that with DP. That could have been so much worse for him. Running bear grab, very nice. Uh, uh. Walking it out, walking it out, walking it out. Nice. Yeah, I mean, all that armor is not to uh, throw invincible. You can do what you want there. Nah, come on. Really? Really? He caught that. That's amazing. Another running bear grab, and that's it for Shaggy in game one. Ah, uh, yes. I love the sweat that comes off my robots. <laughs> Round one. All right, new game. Oh, wow, and Shaggy makes a really bad call at the start. Ground wave. Power wave! Good grab. Nice, nice, nice. Oop. Drew waking up with the EX variant. SPD. Stun? Yeah. Pop the, uh, pop the mid kick counter for some reason. Good DP there. Headbutt to Lariat. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! And there's that stun again. Oh, I don't much like Shaki's chances here. He gets the EXDP, though. Nice feature activation. Throws out another EXDP. Burned all of his meter at this point, though. Catches his back. Good grab. What else has he got? Do that here, Peach. Oh! Bro, you got snagged by the, by the shortest, slowest projectile. Unfortunately, uh, for Shaggy, that's not enough to really decide a match. So, Drooler going to take that one 2-0. And move on to the next round. It's go time. Alrighty. Um, so... I think we're going to let Blarlat and Kihaku go ahead and uh, play their match off stream. And we'll take care of Darklight underscore and Z Fighters matches. Um, so let's let them know. Blar. Uh, so yeah, add dark light and sky. Whoop. Up first, then at underscore versus Green Ranger, then at Z Fighter versus Druid. Okay. There we go. All right, I have been promised rose mirrors and I bear damn well better get them. Remember everybody, when Dark Zero, well not Dark Zero, when um, Omega Zero shows up later, we can totally bully him by reminding him that he missed the mirror match. So we're gonna get your bingo cards ready. Because uh, making fun of uh, Omega Zero, it's like, that's like some center square stuff. You wanna miss that, that opportunity.
All right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. We caught up real fast there. Okay. All right. Sky hitting with the uh, the debilitating card, I believe. Okay, another weakening card. Nice throw there, all right. This guy's kind of got his back towards the wall now. Darklight had the had the card out, ready to go. Let's get some good old Yu-Gi-Oh announcing going. It's like, ha ha, Rose, you've sprung my trap card. There we go, there's the Sogenmu. Uh, good on Darklight for basically uh, block stringing all of that. Very, very good. I feel like Rose's uh, mixed game isn't really strong enough to, to to like fool people. Like she's just not quick enough. Nice slide. Okay. Darklight pulling ahead in round one. You should try to learn round two. Point. Oh, nice slide in. Forward throw. I like the pressure that Sky is putting on here. EX Soul Spiral goes through a projectile. Good to know. Good to know. It's probably a carryover from four. And I should probably remember, but eh. Good V reversal. Almost got him on that one. Probably a second standing jab would have got it. Eh, crouch jab works too, though. Tie rounds. Soul Spark War mid screen. Huh. I wonder if uh, Dark Light actually stood up into that or if the slide doesn't go into the fireball. Good spacing on that. The X Soul Spiral definitely coming in handy there. It's got a lot more travel than the others. Ooh. Ah, oh, that, like that looked like a failed uh, air fireball. Oh, there's some goofy stuff going on here. Darklight pushes the corpse a little bit. Soul Spock! Nice jump in by Sky. Oh, V-Trigger activation! Catches Darklight out of the air a few times! Ooh! Might have had that Soul Spiral finish too. Who knows? Good throw. Alright, Darklight trying to make up the life lead. Actually takes it. And here we go. Sky waiting and positioning. Uh, just wanted Dark Light to get Rose let go of that other wins. fireball. Sky 647 takes the lead in game one. Yeah, it's got that's got some uh, it's got some travel on it. Dark Light's in the chat. That that went far. Like, yeah, yeah, it's got some uh, it's got some miles on it. Round one. Fight. Oh. Now see that that soul spiral wasn't even part of anything. That was just dark light uh, getting mailed by a random move. All right, we got buff cards. We got weakening cards. Everything's happening now. Oh, crouch roundhouse wasn't safe in that situation. Sky knew that. Took a little bit of advantage. Man, that slide. I don't know if Sky's hitting buttons after it or if it's just even unsafe on hit. Oh, nice trap. Dark Light setting things up. Setting himself up for success. Look at the trip. We got V trigger activation on Dark Light's side. I kind of forget what VT1 does.
Must just be a buff. Oh no, wait, that's um. What the soul? The soul orb? Soul satellite? No, that's a. Uh, that's one of the V skills. Hmm. Trying to settle some things with pokes here. Actually, there was really nice spacing by Sky outside of punishment range. That second one, uh, unfortunately, inside the punishment range. There's a good slide. Okay. Sky takes the life lead. Look at that positioning. He says, Darmon, Dark Darklight, throw a fireball. Oh, let me use my critical art. Do it. All right, debuff card. Oh, nice. Get the wall bounce off that to a second one? Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Nice string. Final round. All right, Sky 647 on match point here in this Rose Mirror. Oh. Darkly getting shut down with the startup frames of the EX Soul Spiral. Soul Spark! Of course she pulled a JoJo uh, Weapon X. She's Lisa Lisa. And Sky just punishing Dark Light here against the wall. Oh, we got Sugenmu. Man, caught Dark Light doing something. Not sure what. But uh, yeah, Sky takes it 2 0 over Dark Light. That's probably the fastest match I've ever seen between those two. <laughs> All right, time to bring in some more heavy hitters. We got Green Ranger, we got Underscore. Get in here, y'all. Yo, Kuroi Kihaku got a gift sub from Reckless Weasel. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right, underscore's on his way. <laughs> if you gotta play Blarlad, you deserve it. Yeah. But now Sky has to play Blarlad. <laughs> and Sky's already subscribed. So we need to do for him, Reckless. Huh? Where does your philosophy leave you now? Oh, wait, what? No! No one's bullying! Jesus. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not gonna tell you no. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you there, there's better there's better ways to spend your money. <laughs> Alright, we got Green Ranger. I just need, I need like a voice clip of, of like that kid who got the Nintendo 64 on Christmas like match, mashed up with Green Ranger. It's like, oh my god, Green Ranger 64! You gotta make your own, uh, gotta make your own joy in this world. That's all, that's all I'll say to that. <laughs> You want to see the match with Sky and Blar? Dude, don't worry about it. That's winner's semi. That's a, that's a given. It's going to happen. 
Hey, all right. Well, I will get the F out of the way. And uh, yeah, Green Ranger and underscore can take it away. And uh, we will have the Z Fighter Son Goku versus Drooler match after this. Hmm. Oh. How did I... How did I not go to the back? Did somebody else cover it? I, I didn't even look. It's fine. It's fine. Kami and Ibuki. Let's do this. <laughs> back of the bus. Everyone loved the... Do you know what? So everyone loved the back of the bus because everyone got to be like bad kids in the back of the bus. I love the back of the bus because when you went over speed bumps and the, and the bus driver didn't like really care, bro, you got so launched. It was like going to Six Flags before you pulled into school. It was great. But it never works on like city buses. City bus drivers don't care about fun. They just care about zoning out for eight hours while you sit down and shut up. <laughs> Round one. Fight. <laughs> ah, shoot, the names got swapped. All right. Whoop. All right, so we got pr two pretty agile characters here. Underscore definitely has the, uh, the experience advantage. Oop. This is not to say that Ibuki doesn't have some good stuff over Kami. A projectiles for one. Oop. Good dashes, of course, you know, Kami's got the vortex. Got the good normals. Damn, of course, underscore went for that stun. He couldn't let that one possibly get away from him. Oh, oh, bomb stuff. We got Bakudans. We, we doing Bakudans out here. Alright, not about not a not a bad effort, uh, Green Ranger. I think you'd probably do this if you uh get a handle on where these are coming from. Yo! That was nice! They're not too far off from each other, quite honestly. Like if Green Ranger can keep being sneaky. Oh, look at that old pump fake into the throw! Clever girl! Oh. Baby, you so smart. I'm like a little velociraptor. That's what I'm gonna call you. Turn that doorknob, baby. Oh, alright. Overshot there. Solid anti-air by underscore. Oh. Ah, look at Green Ranger getting the big brains out. Final round. Getting the big brains out. Taking a round off a of Warlord Cammy is no small feat, let me tell you what. Caught by EX Cannon Strike, okay. Underscore kind of gets to do some stuff for free after that. Super plus, super plus. Oh. Okay. Underscore did a good job checking those uh, Invizo dashes. Woo! Alright, we got three Kunai back. Where are going? Pretty evenly, all all said. Of course, you know every mistake counts for more when you're this low on health. Ah, there you go. Underscore knew what he had to do. Kami wins. But hey, it is not like that first game was a total blowout. Green Ranger made some really good moves, took a round off of underscore. That's not nothing. 
See if he can make some adjustments and come back in game two. Maybe make it interesting. Round one. Fight. Oh, there you go. That should be some big free damage. Got to catch him around the back side. Good on green range for knowing his limits. Not pressing it. But underscore found his way in. Nice cross up. Back throw to the wall. Oh. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, he was really counting on that to do the job, too. Yo, props to Green Ranger for fighting, like, fighting up that close even with one pixel. Oh, all right, piercing attack, blowing uh, underscore away. Nice pickup. Didn't cross up. Looked like it probably should have, though. Nice EXDP. Oh! Dude, that looked like OTG with the uh, EX Kunai. I know it wasn't because this game doesn't have those. Capcom, you said it didn't. <laughs> ah, and that's going to do it. Underscore takes it 2-0 over green ring. Oh, never mind. What am I doing? I haven't noticed. Green Ranger won that round. Damn. Green Ranger's got to do some stuff. Yo, that was nice and late. Look at that bomb. Gotta pay attention. Talking to me and everyone else. Woo! Alright, there's the 2-0 for underscore. My bad. <laughs> Drooler, thank you for the follow. I see that. Shut up, Darklight. <laughs> it's go time. The match was a mess? What do you mean? It it looked nice and smooth as far as the as far as the, the net play was concerned. I didn't see any stuttering. All right, so we got Z Fighter and Drooler coming in. Z Fighter, Z Fighter, first fight of the nighter. He had you running all over the place. Good. That's probably what he ought to do. Like, like, Abuki's a an agility goddess. You ought to be hunting her. That's her strength. All right, so we got Drooler and Z Fighter. Uh, those of you who know, uh, who know Z Fighter, very patient Akuma. Uh, Drooler, a fairly aggro geef. There, there's definitely a, uh, a strategy leverage that goes on here. the stuff. Make a geef. My iron body is invincible. So round one. Fight. What if we got like like Hispanic geef? My iron body is invincible, cabron. <laughs> Just rewrite the whole character. True, we do have Master Wrestler D. It's a good point. Up, oh, EXSPD. That should be a good chunk of. Dog, oh, golly. Okay. I was honestly not expecting it to be that bad. I was like half health, maybe. 
Yo, side switch on the DP. I've not seen that before. I like the side swap on, with the Tatsu on that uh, on that wake up. Yo, Drooler the Mad Lad jumping over the back end of those. Ooh, that great health. Look, honestly, it's Geef. Oh. Yeah, why not? Demon Palm, okay. Got Drooler on that on that magic pixel. Oh my god, is that jump jab? Did jump jab just do that? Did new wax do that? Nice, good with the EX pile driver to start off. Whoop! Forward throw, okay. Go! Oh, caught him on the jump away! Oh man! The reeds! This man has a stack of books at home, and the, <laughs> the the title on the spine of each one of them is How Z Fighter Son Goku Fights. No good citizen with the host. Thank you, sir. Oh, testing the waters with that. That was a full power when he got the wall bounce and everything. Yo, V skill two can be a pain in the ass when fighting Zanger. I swear. Yo, good crush counter. Tatsu DP. Yeah, playing all the hits. 80s, 90s, and today. Nice, threw him out of the mirror. Dude, Z Fighter mad. Z Fighter mad though. Round two. Fight. He appreciated none of this. And he's having none of your back talk. My man is none and done. <laughs> There was a problem. He responded Japanese non demonai. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, I think I think I think Z Fighter may have caught on to the pattern here. Oh, look at that spacing! Oh! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that was uh That was a message. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Catch them on that. There's the stun. Of course, Z Fighter loves the heck out of that. Does a few celebratory DPs. Build himself a little meter. Just a little nest egg, you know. Store it away. Save it for when you get old. Yo! Empty jump to the lows. Oh, nice overhead. Takes him to the air. Puts him back down. Uh, not today, sir. Okay. Dash up. Kind of did a late SPD on that one. Not sure what uh, Z Fighter was all about. Oh, that's going to catch. Yes, it is. Uh, uh. Uh -huh. We were bound to determine not to give this one up. Not to let it down. Not to run around and hurt it. Oh man, if he had just let that go! If he had just let that rock into like a like a jump fierce or a jump roundhouse, he would have had the round. 
All right, CSA, CA is active. Oh, man. He probably could have got him with that, too. If he had caught that in the air, bro, it would have been over. Drooler would have been blasting off again. Final round. Alright, so this is it. Last round in the set. There, there's an attempt, I feel, at like a pattern being established, but all, it, all it's getting Jeweler is beaten up. Grass Chungus. That's all I have to say to that. Z Fighter Sun Goku pulling ahead on that one. Two to one. Moving on. It's go time. All right. And that means that Drooler automatically advances over Hornet since Hornet dropped. Which means the winner of Green Ranger and Ave will... Play that out. Uh, Dark Light wins over Kihaku 2 0. Thank you. All right, so we're going on to winner's semis. First up is going to be Sky 647 and Blar Lad. Uh, Sky has told me he's not fought Bla Blar Lad before, so it'll be interesting to see his take on the tire. Let's get Blar Lad in here. Do, 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 There we go. And hopefully he can join us in due course. Do, do. So yeah, not sure who Sky is gonna bring to this fight. The real mix-up would be if he didn't play the tire, wouldn't it though? What if he didn't even play Abigail? <laughs> He doesn't doesn't even play Abigail. He brings like Fong, and you're just like <laughs> Fong. And he just like cleans everyone's clocks with Fong. Fong would be worse. I don't know, man. Check on War Lad. Dude, why would you study the worst matchup? That's the question, right? But at the same time, that's when people like, uh, uh, what, Xi'an? Is it Xi'an came in and, and starts playing Gen and starts whooping up on everybody? <laughs> a Canada Cup? Nice. Man, they'll just let anybody into Canada Cup these days. Uh... <laughs> Alright, Blarlad says he's on his way. I'll tell you what, man. I'm, I'm signed up to be a, a Capcom Pro Tour like restreamer. And they always pick the worst weekends or give me the, like, absolutely worst, uh, uh, like, time slots. 
like flipping. It's like, hey, would you like to be awake at three in the morning to to stream Western China or something? Like, no, no, I would not. <laughs> It's like, I'd like to do Capcom West. Like, cool, check it out. How about you cover that on Mother's Day? Like, no, I have a mother. <laughs> Let's do this. Picture this matchstick. Just you, your computer, and eight hours of watching people play Street Fighter on Mother's Day. Like, no, no. <laughs> you didn't have to do it to him. Uh, round one. All right, let's see how Sky gets down with the Blar Lad. Ooh, he gets down by taking roundhouses to the face. That's out. It's a bad start. Crack, crack, crack the eggs to the bowl. Oh, that big overhead, though. Sky's pretty solid on defense, though. Like, I gotta say, he's fairly solid at, at picking his fight and getting in there. Oh, that was a good confirm. All right, we got tire set up. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I think if you can cash in that gray health, yeah, there we go. Things are kind of going back to normal. And his crouch, his crouch kicks are so fast. Good be reversal. Ah, oh, big eat. Big eat, big eat. Remember, folks, eat is for power. Kobe, yeah, Kobe is for accuracy. Just the right, the right, the right, the uh, uh. The right spell at the right time gets you the results you want. Do it. This guy getting kind of hammered here. Oh, good jump away. Couldn't really do anything else, but that's okay. Restraint's a part of skill. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Good stuff with the feet trigger there, keeping things going. Woo! All right, so Ice Ball and the uh, entire do not interact. Good to Abigail know. Wins. Larlad taking that first game pretty soundly. The usual tactic still working out. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Nice, good anti-air at the start. This guy getting a sizable life lead at the beginning. Unfortunately, that'll get erased after one uh, one standard combo. Oh, that dude, that was nice. Yeah, crack that egg in the bowl. Warlight just smacking the stuff away. Oh, and he still has to deal with the tire. Oh, that's rough times, man. Oh, I thought I think he was trying to go for the anti-air there. He just didn't get to it quick enough. Oh, he's got to watch out for that stuff too. The big wind-ups. Mm. And Blarlad smelling. Blood in the water. Let's put an early end to Sky here in the final round. Or it could be the final round. Oh. Okay, if your reversal gets blocked. Up. Oh. There's some real stuff. Sky a little behind on D meter right now, thanks to the uh, the usage of V reversal. 
Can't quite confirm it. Anything that might get him a, enough damage to get the job done. Oh! That'll take care of that. Blarlad 2-0 over Sky 647. So that puts Blarlad into winner's final. Uh, next up, we're going to have Underscore and Z Fighter Son Goku. I don't think these two play each other that often. This ought to be good. Wow, fast too. Jump, <laughs> jump HK is a dive kick. Can't convince me otherwise. Yeah, uh, I'll go with you on that. By the way, folks, uh, while we're in between matches here, don't forget to uh, go out there and hit up that match arena we've got. Just type exclamation mark match arena into the chat and uh, hit at the address there. We don't have coupon code tonight, but we do have uh, lots of free sponsor quests you can use to add free money into the chat just by following a person or two on Twitter and or YouTube, etc. But uh, toss a coin to your competitors, why don't you? Round one. Fight. Anyway, let's get into it. Z Fighter versus Underscore. Z Fighter knows the tr yeah knows how good Underscore is. He's gonna give him a lot of space probably here at the start while he st while he studies. Score not being fooled at all by the shimmy. Another good uh, cannon spike. Or, sorry, uh, cannon strike there at the top. Yep. Stand short to Shockinets. Good stuff. Oh, dive kick. Getting in behind the anti air. Mm hmm. Cool looking throw. Ah. Kind of checking the dash after the fact, but it's still working out for him. Uh. <laughs> oh, they are almost out of time. Underscore with enough of a lead to make this work uh, work for him. Unless Z Fighter can find a way in at the last second, he's not gonna. Man, you almost never catch underscore winning a round due to time. Ooh, the Tatsu got him some good space. Unfortunately, Kami's standing mid-kick is a fantastic poke with a crazy range. Oh, okay. Demon Palm didn't catch her in the air. Interesting. <laughs> Underscore doing some good work on Z Fighter here. Oh, not sure why Z Fighter keeps getting nailed by these cannon strikes. But yeah, he had to pop that V trigger. He had to keep things alive. Had to keep it interesting. Woo! Underscore's waiting for that fireball. He was waiting for that fireball. He thought he saw it coming too. Z Fighter said, nah, son. Oh! But no! But no! Underscore ready for the Shingoku Satsu. 
She said, I know that trick and I know around it. Mixing between walk up and dive kick in the corner and also waiting. I know, he's he's an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a crepe. <laughs> Round one. Fight. <laughs> and Z Fighter menacingly stands. Stun came nice and early. Can he kill from here? Oh, I guess not. Too much scaling even to kill Akuma. There we go. Gotta get something out of this. Oh, dude, I've never seen her break. That's actually kind of sick. Of course it hits low. Another round for Understore. Street Fighter having a tricky time uh, getting some damage on this Cami. Getting some dammy on the Cami. Whoop. Nice Demon Palm. Tries with the cross up. No go there. Does sneak a quick uh, crouch short in. Good V. Uh, yeah. Good V trigger activation. Definitely keeping that EX uh, from being overextended and unsafe. <laughs> Z Fighter does have this this tendency and this great ability to just stop moving. <laughs> Woo! There's a round. Okay. No, no round Browns for uh, for Z Fighter. Ooh. Now these two are actually a little bit closer than most of our competitors end up being by the end of the night. Uh, one's in Iowa, one's in Chicago, so that the, it's really just like one state over if I remember my geography. going on and no one's in a position to punish him everyone's making mistakes and no one can take advantage it's like elementary school all over again that's gonna sound weird I'm probably gonna have to explain that later oh, oh I can't believe that didn't kill But hey, Underscore had the follow-up to do the deal. So uh, yeah, give him the 2-0 and move him along in bracket. He'll face Blarlad in winner's final. It's go time. All righty. Well, I think uh, Drooler and Green Ranger are going to go at it. Before we get into uh, Blarlet and Underscore and Winners, though, uh, we'll go ahead and do a loser's quarter match between Z Fighter and Darklight. So we'll probably drag Z Fighter back in here. So, uh, yeah. Gonna tell these two to go ahead. Doop, doop, doop. Dark light. And hey, Macho Chancho is playing. Should invite him to commentate, shouldn't we, folks? Shouldn't we kill shouldn't we children? Children? He is going to fight him this week? Wait, who do you mean? What? 
Stop playing the pronoun game, Reiku. You're killing me inside. Blarlad underscore. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot Blarlad totally ghosted last time. Well, there's money this week, so you know. <laughs> you know how that be. Oh gosh, I hope I'm right about this. Nope. Easily fix that. Alright, so we got Z Fighter back. Might be a little salty, but he's nice and warm. Playing uh, Dark Light, our Criminal Chun player. Dark. Not Dark Lay. Not Dark Lay. Dark Lee? <laughs> Big Bird's dog? Alright, so Dark Light's already pushing Z Fighter to the corner here. Of course, now Z Fighter's gonna try to turn the tables. Or table the turns if you're up on your memes. <laughs> and Z Fighter just lets Dark Light do his thing, man. Trying to get some good pokes, get some good confirms. Dark Light kind of slowly whittling Z Fighter down. He went for that grab to, to finish it off. I saw that. You all saw it. Demand skyrocketed. You all saw it. Oh, 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 nice. Caught him with the stand roundhouse. Of course, that's a crush counter. And yeah, Z Fighter goes down. Nice Demon Palm. Dark Light, of course, had uh, EX Spinning Bird as wake up. It's an excellent option as long as it works. And now Z Fighter's kind of taking the lead in the arms race here. He's got those ICBMs. He's got the nukes versus Chun's mere atom bombs. Nice, good check on the dash. See if I'm getting a full punish out of that. Throw it into the corner though. Ooh, gets met with the overhead on wake up and uh, for some reason Dark Light not able to link that to anything else. I can't remember if he actually can on hit. Nice tap. Ah, uh, it wasn't in VT. That's what I thought. I thought VT1 allowed you to... to yeah, it, it shifts everything, right? Like... On hit, it's safe. Oh, yeah. On block, it's safe. On hit... No, I thought, I think on hit, you can actually get, like, a crouch short out, maybe. Don't quote me on that. The times, the times they have been changing. Maybe on counter hit, you're right. Alright, EX minus two, that's safe enough, as long as you don't hit a button afterwards. Not blocking on wake up, that's that's not safe. Shouldn't do that. Okay, Dark Light chucking some uh Kikoken. Z Fighter absolutely making Dark Light fight on his terms right now. Playing very smart. Chun Li's mix up game not all that great, so blocking traditionally typically works. Kinda gotta surprise people. Not a bad use of the first half of his uh, V trigger here, but Dark Light's gotta make some good use of the rest of this. Definitely putting on that gray health. Oh, catches both fireballs in the face and eats this. Mm -hmm. Very well performed, super confirmed. Z Fighter takes game one.
<laughs> hey, easy now, Sky. Don't go putting uh, F in the chat just yet. Darklight's pretty good at doing is uh, making these normals work for him. It may take a while, but, uh, you know, when you look down and you got nothing because all you've been doing is taking, taking stand fierces and AA kicks to the face for the entire match, you know, you really gotta, you really gotta admire the, the, the patience and the skill. Just gotta not get chewed up in the meantime. That's the big problem. Ooh, back throw, okay. Oh, he got caught by the overhead. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Z Fighter brought that back from what looked like an assured victory. Good on him. Now we're doing corner harassment. Stand roundhouse is actually not a bad button for the corner. Where, where are they gonna go? Huh? Where are they gonna duck? They're gonna duck duck your standing move? They're not gonna do that. Oh, that Kikoken, man. If it had any better recovery, it would probably be a more viable zoning tool. It, right now it's absolutely not. It's like a big, it's like rolling cover. So we took a chest high wall from gears and just like put wheels on it. It's really all it's good for. Oh, uh, Dark Light's so close to having enough meter to just ignore all this damage stuff and just do the job. Wow! Got a full Chun Li jump in. Chun Li empty jump low? That's when you know you messed up if you even let that happen. Got to applaud Darklight on that one. Empty Chun, yeah, Chun Li empty jump low is like a blue moon. Maybe see one once a year if you're lucky. Good forward throw there. Six him with the boot on the get up. Ah, there's that bait. Okay, well, the Z Fighter no longer in danger of being stunned. It's gonna have to work this out the old-fashioned way. Oh, not by taking two projectiles to the face. That's, that's the bad way to work it out. Okay, V trigger activation. Went for the throw, and the throw is sufficient. Dark Light ties it up one to one. Chun Li wins. And in other news, it looks like uh, Drooler has prevailed against Green Ranger 64, which means he will be facing Round Sky one. 647 in Loser's Final. Or sorry, Fine. Loser's uh, Quarter. Yeah. Ah, the classic. Crouch jab, stand, medium, yeah, what? Crouch jab, medium strong. I forget what middle kick is called. <laughs> forward, it's forward. Nice AA, gonna follow that double key token in, activate V trigger, oh, Z Fighter hit a button, why? Why? Water in the fire, why? Oh, that's rough, man. Darklight went for the EXSPD. Oh, empty jump DP. Empty jump DP. 
That hurt my soul to witness. Holy crap. Yeah, like I was saying, that was a tough call back there with the EX, uh, SP, uh, EX, uh, SPK. Uh, just cause, yeah, it gave him the, the invulnerability frames they need to get out of the fireball, but of course, upon, uh, upon whiff, there's so much recovery that Akuma could just walk in and do what he wanted. Darklight putting in some good work here against the wall. Once again, Normal's doing God's work. Gotta be patient. Be patient. If you do the thing, and you do it good, it works. It just works. <laughs> Darklight playing big brain here. He does not have to do anything. He literally does not. Ah, oh, but why does he persist in doing things, though? Because his drive is to win, not merely to succeed. Alright, looks like Z Fighters opted for a projectile battle this time around. Can't really blame him. Projectile game is way stronger on Akuma than it is to Chun Li. Although it didn't exactly work out that great for a blast round. Does that uh, stand short link to itself, chat? Two trigger, nice. Putting the hands on him. Oh, nice low altitude double fireball, okay. Lots of damage off of that one for sure. That's a hard link too. Woo! Tying things up. Oh no! He took the full combo starter to the face, and Z Fighter Son Goku is going to walk away from this one. The victor, meaning Dark Light is out of the tournament tonight. Akuma Z Fighter wins. moving along. Yeah, Akuma's a big old bowl of dynamite, that's for sure. Darklight tried to get under it. Yeah. I've, I've played that game, getting under it with uh, Bennett Foddy. Yeah, it's frustrating. All right. Well, we danced around it so that we could get uh, cluster our uh, our top four together, and we've done it. Uh, that means that we're going to go to winner's final, which means I need to change the rounds of this thing. And we need to bring in our champions, underscore, and Blarlad. Underscore's already here. Blarlad's are wow, we are ready to go, sir. Ready to go. All right, I'll get out of the way. Let these two stare each other down in the middle of the octagon. So this is this has been a couple weeks coming now, because uh, I'm not sure if, if any of you guys follow these two on Twitter, but uh, Blar Blar Lad was was posting some brags. <laughs> and while underscore was playing it very cool, you can't you can't take. Uh, you can't take uh, uh, people puffing themselves up like that lying down. Especially when you think you could have done something about it. So so let us see if uh, if Underscore brought what he needs to, to unseat Blarlad from his number one spot. Round one. <laughs> and quite honestly, just reclaim Fight. it. Got 
the crowd. God, his range is so big. Woo. Seems like Underscore's having kind of a hard time getting the t getting the uh, pattern down. Oh my god. Larled just spamming. Oh, a star. So underscore to grab. Okay, he's kind of getting used to the delay, it looks like. Back to the corner, gets the stun. Can he kill from here? I don't think so, but... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Not like this! Oh, got him! Got him! And underscore retains meter advantage going into round two. Very smart, very smart. Gotta wonder if Larlad's gonna start doing tire, uh, his tire trickery here. Of course, if uh, Underscore smart, he's gonna keep so close that Larlad's not even gonna attempt to go for the tire. Ah, there we go. Call it on wake up. Breaks the armor. Good V shift. No avail. Nope, nope, nope. There's the anti air. Gets the follow up. Ooh, gets aggressive with the V trigger. Back throw again. <laughs> Look at them sizing each other up. Attempted cross up. Got a little something something there. Little something something. Open for business. Karen's no, you knock hard and loud enough, they will come to the door. Tire things, just tire things, baby. Tire. Th Ooh, that's death range if he hits with the CA. There it is. Oh, nice V trigger. Uh, yeah, nice V reversal there. And that might give Larla the edge he needs. Tire shenanigans. Oh, okay. Okay, it's going to be one of these. It's going to be one of these. Underscore game one. You know he's got to feel happy about that. Bothering all the neighbors with the hooting and hollering. Round one. Fight. All right, game two. Let's see what's happening here. Nice anti air there. Blarlad starts off with the big damage. That was a good dash in. I'm kind of surprised he wasn't able to hit Larlet on the recovery. Spinning! That's a good trick. Oh, I think I think Larlad may have uh Ooh. Nice! That's exactly what underscore wants. Just one good uh, one good way inside. That's all he really needs to start the bullying. Oh, Got a V trigger cannon spike. Oh, there we go. With just a walk up. Spiral air to the corner. Another big combo. Spinning. Oh, they look like they're having some trouble on the on the CFN side of things. Ah, that big overhead. So hard to react to. It's very fast. Uh, Blarlad with round one here in game two. Oh! XDP not working out for underscore there. Good V shift though. Gets the distance he likes. Not taking that damage. Good punish. More than even things out here. Just has to get. Uh... Yeah, just has to be careful about the Abigail punch. Oh! Spinning to keep it safe. Blarlad knows better than to pursue. Speed trigger activation. What's the plan here? Hooligan throw, maybe? Oh, you can't forget about the tire and the armor break and everything else that comes out of it. No. Whoa! Yes, actually! No, but actually, yes. That does not do a whole lot of damage. There's another good back throw. Almost out of V trigger on Blarlat's side. V trigger and underscore. Whoa! Not quick enough to do anything about it. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! On Magic Pixel? Oh! 
Larlad got a little greedy and underscore made him pay for it. Tied up on rounds. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh, kids. Oh no. No, 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 no. Wait, Spectre, what? what uh, uh. I also wonder if they're still going. I wonder if they have to restart. Oh crap, they were on a round of peace, weren't they? Wait, it only booted me? Why? I'm so lovable. I guess while we're waiting for this to boot in, uh, MF Aku, thank you for the follow. Same Otoshi FGC. Payback for Shadow Ace. <laughs> yeah, Sha uh, you know what? I, I, I thought that Shadow Ace might have a little voodoo doll, a little straw doll with like just big, big ass glasses and a piece of blonde hair like at home and he just stabs it every like five minutes. Kick me, kick me. All right, match. Uh, sorry, be matchstick. I'm matchstick. Skies defeated Drooler two zero, uh, which means our loser semi is ready to go as soon as whatever's happening here happens. I'm not sure if we're gonna get to to watch the end of this one, folks. I'm very I'm scared for the future. All that fighting I did for the future, and now this. Please wait. Yeah, no duh. I certainly can't cancel out of it. Has this happened to anybody out there before? Anyone got any, any big ideas? Do I just... Do I exit the application? Do I do I collapse everything and start over? I don't want to do that. If I leave the lobby, it ends their game. Hmm. I tell you what. Let's take a look at the last replay. Oh uh, oh oh! Really? That's the last one I did? I don't think that's accurate. Jiggle the switch. Turn it off and on again. Yeah, that's from last week. Pfft. Bing, bang, bop. Boop, boop. Oh, and that's where it ends. That's a shame. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're still waiting it out. I don't know, man. That's before everything went wrong. <laughs> like seriously, uh, this should be this should be a little more up to date. Like, like this, like this tonight, like this should be a thing. Like, that was cool. No one can deny that. And of course, uh... What was this one? Oh, yeah, was this Z Fighter? No, oh, yeah, yeah, no, this is, that's right, EX uh, Spiral Arrow taking uh, Z Fighter out, because he's technically airborne. That was also pretty cool. Okay, I'm not sure if things have gone off the rails, if they're still fighting or what. Like, quite honestly.
Oh. Wait, what? Underscore two one. Wait, no, two one. It should be three to one. Is it three to one? Do you mean? <laughs> Underscore. I mean three to one. Or is that just the current? That's just the current situation. God, this really sucks. I'm not allowed to watch. <laughs> I have a feeling that was just an update. Like, he's still going at it. And we're just out here, like, waiting to hear what happened. Like, even me. Like, I own the lobby, right? I made it. I'm stuck outside of it. Can I bug report this? I feel like I ought to bug report this. Hey, who's getting Strive this weekend? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about a game with some good net code. Who's getting Strive this weekend? Or rather, I should say, who is signing, who's going to be participating in the open beta for Strive? If it was on PC, you would? Oh, so it's PS4 exclusive this time around. Interesting. Just gauging some uh, some general interest here. How would anybody feel about a about a tournament on Sunday? <laughs> like, I would love to set up. I would love to to try out the tournament a tournament setup for Strive. Because I think it's going to be hot. I think it's going to be something that people are going to enjoy playing. Um, even if the 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 uh, uh, player lobbies, like the player lobbies, or sorry, the uh, the public lobbies, are a little weird. I can't imagine that the player lobbies are going to be too different from regular Arxis stuff. And in which case, they ought to just like move, 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 move. And the net code's going to be solid. And uh, I think it could be. I think it could be good. And I don't actually know if they will do private matches over the over the beta. But if they are, we get it. We can get a tournament going. We can get a, we can get a solid, uh, yeah, GGS MSM, yeah, MSM GGS tourney going. God, they are taking a while. Why can't I watch? Why can't I even just like, just go back to the lobby? <laughs> this is the most. I'm gonna put on the music. You guys want some music? Of course you want some music. You're not. You guys are cool. Where's this thing? There we go. But yeah, man. Uh, Saturday or Sunday? No, wait. What's Saturday? Is there anything Saturday? I feel like my boy wanted to do something on Saturday. Not my, like, my boy boy, but, like, I feel like May 15th was important to my buddy, who I believe is holding a graduation party. I will have to check on that. Bro, they are going to keep us in the dark on this one. So, informal... Yo, you know what we ought to do? We ought to do some gambling. We ought to do some gambling. We ought to do some gambling, gambling, gambling. All right, I'm gonna throw up the. Uh, I'm gonna throw up the thing. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a, pre a prediction. Nah, nothing's happened in the Discord yet, Sky. Uh, let's see. Who wins? Underscore or Blarlad. All right, here it Oh, 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 there, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried. Welp. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Do you reckless? Oh, really? All right. Okay. Three, two for underscore. 
Yeah, it looked like you guys were having trouble. Uh, we couldn't watch any of it underscore. We, could, we couldn't see nothing. Uh, I guess CFN's just being that way tonight. Yeah, I mean, he is out there. Uh, he is he is NorCal, so, but I mean, I feel like that should be a straight shot, but also, you know, ISPs, mountains, CFN, there's a million things to get in the way. Anywho. But that'll knock Blarlad into loser's final. And uh, that means we get to see Sky 647 and Z Fighter go for it. Huh? What? Oh, 3 2 Blarlad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was reading underscore, and uh, yeah, you know what? It's just. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, so underscores and losers final, not Blarlad. Blarlad's in winners. So, uh, Sky647, Z Fighter, Son Goku, next up. That's a message for the kids at home. Don't run tournaments on three hours of sleep. Loser semi coming at you. Whoops. I'm not going to make this. Uh. Oh, maybe I did. With them quick hands. All right, now what you're about to see is probably going to be a very patient match. Uh, Sky and Z Fighter. Both love just uh, waiting out their time, waiting for the right moment to strike. Very, very patient folk. Harmony. That is the truth of what you. Oh, see. my man came. Uh, came cherry grape today. Not mint berry crunch, but he's, he's good. He's good. Damn. All right, Sky already chasing uh, Z Fighter to the corner a little bit. Not too shabby. <laughs> Booberry Gill. Nah, he's got to have some blue on him. Nice crush counter. A lot of damage there. There's a stand light kick to kind of like trick out the uh, sky. Oh, and there's the stun. That's going to be enough to do the deed for sure. Damn. He did all that scaling. Nah, you know what? You know what he looks like, Dark Light? He looks like a box of nerds. Alright. Damn. <laughs> like 60% damage in red life at least. Ooh, big trip. Nice. Okay, no V-break. Just the shift. <laughs> Sky with the empty jump back forth. Nice, nice. Confuse a cat's. I know! You can't unsee it. He's a box of nerds. Good parries out of, out of the sky here. And yeah, it takes him off his feet. Z Fighter, though, starting with a full CA in final round of game one. Reiku Yin dropping the deep gill, gill slash nerds lore in the chat. Good 
Good parries. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting the retribution combo started. These things are actually pretty uh, significant, and even more so against a character with a low life total like Akuma. Oh. Power of the creator. Power of the creator. Ooh, nice. Gets around the Tatsu. Oh, the good fireball option on the jump in for Z Fighter completely negates the threat of the. Whoa! Batista. Oh, forward throw is a good option after that. All right, Z Fighter Son Goku taking game one. Akuma wins. Nothing you can do about that. Sky still has a good shot, though. Honestly, I think a swap to Rose would, would have been uh, pretty okay as well, but Sky might need some more time on the Rose before he's ready to fight Z Fighters uh, over here. Big sweep. Oh, nice reposition. That was just barely a uh, cross under. Everyone has a shot until they get shot. Morbid and uplifting! Oh, okay. <laughs> we had more to say. Good to know. And Sky trying to build up this uh, this V meter. Fireball Wars and everything else. Okay, confirm. Oop. Okay, now Z Fighter's ready to put the uh, put the screws to him. No third grab. Oh, that second fireball hitting the uh, sky was unwelcome. Stun? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I make it sound like he's playing Simon on Gil. Oh, dude, two more colors. He could play Simon on Gil. But but thigh chest. Whew. Okay, Sky just going in. He knows it's his last opportunity, so yeah, he's got to. Oh no, this is gonna be it. Oh, man. Well, not a bad match, but Z Fighter clearly coming out on top on that one. 2 0 over Sky 647. Which means uh, we have the first and what may end up being a series of runbacks. Underscore and Sky will now be going. As, yeah, sorry. Underscore and. No, God dang it. I can't. Underscore and Z Fighter. God, anybody have any like Adderall? Fuck. <laughs> Need to focus. Yeah, air fireball sucks. I mean, it's great, but it sucks. <laughs> yeah, he could. Although I think your Rosa could probably handle that Akuma at some point. Just gotta keep up your daily training. I like how Rose hit the scene and already has like five outfits and Alex is just like crying in the corner. Round one. Fight. Oh. 
All right, so Underscore did this one pretty handily earlier, 2 0 uh, Z Fighter out of winners back at the semis. But uh, Z Fighter's all nice and warm now. He's beaten some pretty serious opponents. You could say he's about as uh, peak performance as he's going to get tonight. So let's see if he's got what it takes to take down Underscore. Have his own shot at Blarlad. Meanwhile, of course, Underscore uh, started off in a very strong position against Blarlad in the winner's final. Ended up losing that set 3-2, so I'm sure he's aching for a rematch. Although with the, uh, with the condition of CFN being what it is across the country, I'm uh, not sure anyone's really aching for it, but the later we go, the, the more clear CF, yeah, the less populated CFN should be and the better service it should provide. Well, Z Fighter has no V meter. And a good v, uh, v trigger combo could have probably done some damage there if he had it, but no go. Underscore taking round one. Oh, interesting trade. Didn't see what Z Fighter had sticking out there. Not a bad punish after spinning there. He really snuck that in. Oh. All right. Tatsu for repositioning, though. Nothing really coming out of it. Big overhead. Underscore telling him not to do anything. Don't hit those buttons. They're not your friend. Good anti-air. Z Fighter ready for that one. There's underscore waking up with a good boom B. Ah, look at that backdash from Z Fighter. He's wise to the V trigger activation throw technique. Fortunately, uh, being wise doesn't always mean you get away scot free. Underscore taking that first game. with the forward throw, trying to take this to the corner almost immediately. Underscore, or sorry, Z Fighter not having that though. Trying to take that back to mid. They're going uh, tooth and nail on this one, folks. Nice V reversal. Oh, tried to cross around with the, uh, with the hooligan. Yo, nice. Just tap her out of it. Tap her out of the V-reversal. I'm just going to use all of his V-meter. Nice dash and crouch. Okay. I think, if, I think if he gets the feel for it, if he lands another crouch medium kick, he'll confirm right into what he wants. Oh, hello. You sure did detonate that young lady. Yes, you did. All right, so Z Fighter on the board with a round. Let's see if he can do it again. Tie up the score. Cross up there for Z Fighter. Boom. Oh, wow. An underscore has exactly what Z Fighter did not want waiting for him on wake up. Nice little B and B combination that takes uh, to the corner. That cross under was. Pretty ambiguous. Don't blame Z Fighter for getting hit by that at all, but now we have V Trigger Akuma. The Holy Terror. Nice block on the V reversal. And of course, uh, Z Fighter gets to go first. Dashboard crouch. Z Fighter, as strong as he is, he's got to watch out. His V Trigger's over. And uh, Underscore is ready to put that final blow on him. Don't throw fireballs, Z Fighter. Come on, you know that's what he wants. You know that's what he wants. Good anti air. Okay, underscore with another V reversal and escorts him off to Sleepy Town. Underscore tying it up. Round a piece here in game two. Fight. 
Wow, a lot of active frames on that counter. Or is it an anti-air at this point? I guess it's an anti-air. Alright, first real damage underscore is done to Z-Fighter this round. Z-Fighter doing a pretty good job of playing at his maximum range. Catching underscore when he breaks his, uh, breaks his attack string to come in after him. Back throw there for a little more repositioning. Does kind of give uh, Z Fighter the, the distance that he wants, but he's also being pressured into the corner. It's no kind of life, folks. It's, it's, it's no real kind of life. Nice, nice stand jab. Nice stand jab. Z Fighter still has a fairly significant life lead. Ah, burns the beef meter. All right, he's probably not going to get triggered this round. Oh, the trade. Underscore can't do that too often. Mm -hmm. Oh, got him! And got the mix! Woo! Underscore making that one work for him. Alright, 2-0, two 2-0. Zero, two zero. Alright, the coat is back on, folks. Underscore is concentrating now. Good exchange of normals at mid-screen. Z-Fighter with a minor lead here. Uh oh, uh, there it goes. Ooh, not sure. I think that was a failed uh, cannon strike there. That that random roundhouse. Short hooligan. Oh, underscores in there. He just doesn't confirm it anything. A forward throw from Z Fighter. Oh. Big neck crack. And things are pretty even once again. A solid bread and butter combo from either one of these fighters could end the round. <laughs> oh, nice use of the cannon strike. Unfortunate. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! And on a very vicious series of trades, Underscore pulls ahead. Match point. Taking the jacket off for this last one. Wake up, EXDP. Yeah, they're both they're both trying their best repertoires on each other in this last one. Uh, if that had been light cannon strike, you might have nailed him. There you go. Change your di change your time of ascent or descent. Sorry. Yeah, if you if you stop yourself at the very peak of your jump, have you changed your your ascent or your descent? Nice empty jump to just stay clear of the fireball. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Underscore not challenging the uh, the setup there. Got V trigger. Oh, trying to punish on the way down. Z Fighter stuck out a move to make it trade in his favor. Tap, tap. Oh, another trade. That's rough times. What is Z Fighter going to do? He's got to fight the temptation to throw that fireball, that's for sure. Oh, no. What's underscore going to do? Ah, nothing. Nothing and like it. Final round. Fight. All right. Underscore still on set point. He could walk away from this one with a clean no game drop uh, set here. 
Yeah, it looks like he might be trying it. Doesn't want to get, let that stun meter get away off of Z Fighter. Ah, oh, it's it's a dream denied. Oh, cannon spike, unfortunately, is going to let Z Fighter do a lot of nasty stuff. But not enough so that uh, overtakes underscore as he gains his third win and moves on to grand finals against Blarlad. Fighter, we will see you later, sir. Good, good uh, job tonight. Congrats on third place. Now it's time for me to move to the back of the line while we bring in the one and only Blarlad. Here we go, guys. Oh, nice. We got the Killer Bee outfit, too. All right, I feel like Underscore is very serious now. Again, let's hope uh, CFN treats them a little better this time. Imagine they're going to play very conservatively until they know different. Oh, got the big command grab off. Underscore has his back. Let's see what's going to happen with that. Can't jump away. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, that is only one hit. Armor's going to do the work there. Nah, you can get out of that. Oh, man. That was looking pretty nasty. Oh, Underscore burning the whole V bar, uh, whole v -bar on that one. Gets it with the V break. Larlet seemingly unintimidated takes the takes a spiral arrow. Nope, not that time. Underscore is ready for the command grab. Round two. Point. All right, can he do it again? And for the for that matter, can he do it five more times after that? Dude, Abigail with the uh, with the Sentinel, like down the uh, down strong kick button, or I guess down strong button from uh, from Marvel, just tickles me every time. Get this man a purple suit. Well, that looked rough. Figured underscore would have had that. Oh, it traded? Come on! Woo! All right, underscore comes out swing and gets that first game pretty solid, solidly. Yeah, no, it's 100% Sentinel's kicks. Yeah, if anything, I, I'm not sure, man. Like, uh, there's only so many hits of armor that Abigail has. I would imagine, like, um, round one. EX Spiral Arrow would probably be a good antidote to to that because it hits multiple times. But I think that's like that's kind of our only big like hits multiple times deal, right? I mean, Hooligan, what? She's got the Hooligan Slide, like basically you know where she where she empty jump blows. Uh, that will hit multiple times on EX, but it's so slow. Speaking of. There's the V-Trigger activation. Oh, didn't go for the big wind-up swing this time. 
And yeah, if you uh, just keep beating Blarlet up, he cannot get his armor on. Ooh, burning it on the on the the uh, uh come on, cannon strike. Underscore definitely trying to get this reset and trying to get it fast. There it is. Probably has like a million uh, hit points armor on it too. Ooh. Bro, can you imagine if, uh, if, if akin to Sentinel, Abigail's super was to throw like three sets of tires at you? Or, uh, sorry, like, yeah, with just three tires. <laughs> at three different heights. Oh, uh, underscore. <laughs> Why are you standing there taking those dogs? Dude, the fact that that hits up as well, like that, that box is massive. Final round. Like people complain about, uh, what, uh, uh, Goku Black's like down B or, or yeah, like two, uh, two H, that's what it is. Two H and fighters. It's like that, that looks like nothing compared to this. While I did not get the cross up, but Underscore still took those crouch, uh, those crouch kicks. Oh, there we go. Crush counter off spinning X. Confirm into the super. Bam. That's a pretty significant life lead. And yeah, he's not going to give Blarlad opportunity to pop that V trigger or anything. All right. Underscore is on a roll here. Two out of, yeah, two, uh, two zero so far. Yeah, reckless. I can't. Uh, I can't listen to people being compared to body parts anymore. I read too far ahead in Baki. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Oh, Crouch Roundhouse was a weird option there. Nice DP. Underscore is playing this very smart. Actually, he's doing this very optimally. He's standing just at the at the distance where Blarlad is not gonna pull out the tire. Weapon X. I know you're not laughing at, at Baki after all the stuff you watch and read. Underscore's got his V-Trigger up. Burns one on the uh, cannon strike. There you go. Oh, catches Blar on wake up. Oh, doesn't even let him try to mix. Woo -hoo. Oh, nice. Very nice. Underscore just, yeah, just going right through, man. Just Oops, jump around has to start. Okay, that was safe enough on block, I guess. Ah, the distance happened. That was actually very smart on Underscore's part. Waited out the whole thing. Back throw, okay. Back throw the corner, okay, okay. Oh, using the armor of the EX Abigail punch. Breaks into V trigger, okay, this is dangerous times. Nobody likes it here. Oh, wow, that V trigger, like keeping her essentially on the same side. <sighs> Ripes. Oh, the distance was just perfect. Oh, by the hair of his chinny chin chin. Cammy wins. I was waiting for the bounce out, quite honestly. I was waiting for, for Abigail to just kind of float away from the V trigger DP. Woo, all right, we got a reset, folks. You got a 3-0 reset, nonetheless. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, reset the uh, reset the stats. Get rid of those winners and losers tags. And let's uh, let's keep the party going.
cami out for blood. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, Dark Light. Dark Light. Remember that, remember that time during the pre-alpha where, like, Chun-Li would have gotten, like, a dedicated anti-air super? Remember that? Remember, remember that? Remember when it was good times? In, in the before? In the long, long ago? Remember how she could shoot, like, 800 fireballs during V-Trigger? Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Round one. All right, guys, here we go. Grand final reset. Underscore taking uh, the first, yeah, taking the first half of this with a 3-0. Uh, Pulling off some pretty big brain plays, I have to say. Yeah, sad times, Darklight. Whoop. Looks like Blar's trying to get some stuff go- What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yo, Brian F? Hosting us? Raiding us? What is this? Thank you, good sir. Thank you! Yo, let's go! Let's go! Brian F! Supporting your locals! And why wouldn't he? Look at what we've got here, folks. Blar Lad underscore Grand Final Reset underscore has been, been getting taken down by Blar Lad so often lately, and he is coming back on him. Coming back on him like bad chili right now. Got that grand got that reset on the 3-0 after Blar Lad took him out of uh, out of winners. Oh Blar Lad does not look like he is having it. Round two. This man, th this man of tires, this man of tires and chains. Getting bossed around by this little blonde British girl. Mmm. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, of course, you can't stick out everything. EX Abigail punches the stuff. Tire shine hooligans. Yo, underscore almost made it out of that. I I know we don't give uh I know we don't give full points. But still, how many of you took that? I took that. She is not French. Uh, at least not in the English version. Not in the American version. Oh man, it's tense. Oh my goodness. I feel like that probably wanted to be neutral jump. And and the the finger just went in the wrong direction. Nevertheless, Blar Lad pulling that one off. First game going to him. And yes, folk you, folks out there, thank you for the follows. Big ups to Brian F for coming by with this raid. Oh my goodness. Round 1. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think I saw a little stutter there. I hope CFN is treating him well. Oh, oh, not like this. The meta opponent. Don't let it be. Don't let it be. Ooh, all right. Underscore burns a little V meter. Get some space back. Oh no! Gets taken out of his double knee there by by Blar Lad. And now we have Tire to deal with as well. Okay, V-Reversal again. That's probably optimal considering the situation. Ah! Things ain't looking so good for Underscore. It's all right. When things get tough, you go back to basics. Stand medium kick. Fierce punches. Ooh, maybe not Spiral Arrow though. All right, free jump in. Underscore not getting much out of it. 
There we go. Back to Pokes again. You can't do it too often, though. Blarlad knows those tricks. He will punish with Abby Punch. Oh, no! Catching Tyre was the worst possible thing there. Just disregards this EX forward roll, though. Catch him with a couple of these normals. It's not bad. Underscore learning when he has to get back on D. And he's got full CA just waiting there. Oh, no! Sniped out of the air. Oh, he doesn't get away from that either. All right, we got more tires set up. Oh! He's got the full animation. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Empty hooligan jump gets him nothing. Oh, my goodness. Abigail wins. All right, Blarlad with the 2-0 lead right now in winner's final reset. Come on, underscore. Not like this, man. Not like this, man. Don't let him do you like this. Round one. Fight. Fire layer to the corner. All right. Under oh, this is the kind of energy underscore needs right now. He can't get scared. He's he's taking a couple hits and he's getting a little cautious. He can't he can't be like that right now. Okay, another good throw into the corner. No. Ooh, I can't believe Blarlight beat him to the punch on that one. Abby's so big and so fast at the same time. Back to again, alright. If underscore can stay out of any kind of uh, Abigail nonsense. Oh, catches him out of the V shift. Very nice, very nice. Okay, underscore on the board. Round two. If he can do it again. Ah, no. That juggles it and cool salt. That's crazy talk. Oh, Blar Lad wants, wants to put this down now. This rebellion. Gonna, he's gonna quelch it right now. Okay. Underscore burning the last of his V trigger there. He has got to be so careful here. Larlat at half life. Not getting fooled by the dash under, although that was a very nice trick by Underscore. What is he trying to prompt out of Cammy? Nice, 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 nice. Burn a couple of EX meters there. Oh, this just became doable, folks. Oh, again, empty jump. Oh, V trigger activation, but he doesn't get the full charge on it, so no guard crush. Mmm, you hate to see it. Final round. All right, no, no, Underscore's playing this very smart right now. Couple stand mid, uh, medium kicks. Ooh, that spiral arrow was a, was, mm, mm, mm. I, I question the wisdom. A little too far over Abby to get a cross up there. Nice V reversal though. Tries to tap him after, no go. Work on those normals. Ah, there you go. There you go. Catching him. Oh, he's up. Oh, he got the cross button. Oh, oh. Underscore getting in those necessary hits. Gets himself a, gets himself a point on the board. And I think we, I think this is extra innings. This is extra innings. This is extra innings. Underscore has been uh, been the underdog in this in this half of the of the grand final set, and I feel he might be starting to believe. Maybe, maybe. Just has to watch out for that stuff. Oh no! Oh, block DPs are the worst possible thing that happened. All right, we got V trigger. We must survive the tire. We're not surviving the tire. Okay, that's done. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, back on back on tournament point, Blarlad. Underscore has to play this just right. Ooh. Oh, 
Okay, not bad, not bad. Not sure what EX nastiness was going to come under Storage Wave, but Blar Lad did a good job there. Or sorry, but he did a good job throwing Blar Lad there. No cross up today. Got caught with the second low, but that's not a problem. Crush counter. What was Underscore trying to do? Nice EX Spiral Arrow. Back throw. Okay, and then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? Then what? Think, Mark. Think. Oh, 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 get out of there. Mm. Oh. It's all body pressure, man. Where's the roll? Oh, no. Oh, no. Whatever Underscore did with that jumping light kick, it can't have been what he intended, and it cost him the round. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. It's go time. Oh man. But that gives Blarlad the victory here in grand final reset. Three to one over underscore. Woo! Oh my goodness. I did drill. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Well, I know we all I know we all saw what happened, but let's uh, let's take this through real quick and, and view the final uh, view the final results, shall we? Okay, Blarlad tonight, your grand champion, folks. First place, uh, four and one, only dropped one set, and that was versus Underscore, our number two guy for the night, four and two record. Z Fighter Son Goku doing a pretty stellar job himself, three and two for the uh, third place, just eking it out over Sky 647. Uh, Drooler coming in fifth, tying with Dark Light, our resident uh, Big Chun, Big Chun, I guess. Uh, Green Ranger 64 tying for seventh with Kihaku. Got uh, four way ninth place tie with uh, Ave, Hornet, Ultima, Auroch, and Shaki. And uh, pulling up the rear, good old Reckless Weasel. Dude, Reckless Weasel being the homie. All night giving out gift subs and uh, uh, just supporting the channel in a million ways. Can't thank you enough. But uh, that means that. Uh, Oh, something went wrong. I don't like that. Uh, our Macherino of uh, $35.60 will be split up amongst our top three. Uh, if you folks would, uh, if you folks who are now joining us would care to uh, contribute to that, just uh, pulling up the Macherino command in the chat here. You can toss a few uh, things via quest reward. Or, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> sorry, folks. It's been a long day. Uh, sponsor quests. Uh, into the pot, help our folks out here, maybe bolster that total a little bit before we cash out at the end of the night. And uh, especially before we cash out at the end of the night, just want to say big, big thanks to, uh, to your boy, uh, Brian F., for coming through with the raid and the host. What a guy. What a guy. We've never met. Like, who just does nice things for strangers like that? Brian F. That's it. Uh, but, uh, and of course, we got a ton of follows, and we appreciate each and every one of them. Thank you so, so much. Let's tell you what we do here at Matchstick Melee. Uh, we are the channel that ho hosts Versus Corona. Uh, it is a Tatsunoko versus Capcom tournament that is uh, run by Dr. Science and our good friend J.M. Crofts, who uh, comes in to uh, do the shot calling. I just stay quiet behind the mic so you don't have to hear me anymore. But uh, that's going to be happening uh, sometime later this month on Sunday. I'm guessing uh, either the 23rd or the 30th because we're trying to avoid the whole combo breaker thing. But uh, definitely check us out. Uh, it usually kicks off at around 2 p.m. on a Sunday. Uh, just follow us on Twitter if you want to hear any more information about that. Or JM Crofts or Dr. Science. We'll all keep you guys 
up to date on that sort of thing. Um, if you're a Grand Blue Fantasy Versus player and you enjoy the PlayStation version, our good friend Black End Galaxy is running Infinite Wonders on May 16th. Uh, that pop bonus of $300 already demolished. It's well over $600 by this point. Uh, if you are a GBVS player and you feel you've got the chops, go ahead and head on over to uh, Black End Galaxy's Twitch, uh, yeah, Twitch, and find the information pertaining to that event and uh, sign up. Uh, Tekken 7, we host that too. That's a Tuesday thing. We're still kind of trying to figure out a good way to rotate it into the, the regular schedule, but uh, definitely make sure we'll swap between the PC and PlayStation version as events warrant. So keep an eye on our Twitter for information regarding that. Grand Blue Fantasy Versus PC format. We host every Thursday night here, P uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, dude, we got the Midwest Killers coming through. Ask uh, BG Callisto. We, you know, we we share the same folks, and these folks are dedicated. They are happy to play this game, and they show up in droves. If you haven't played it, it's amazing. I know it hardly ever goes on sale on Steam, but uh, you should definitely pick it up if you haven't already. The net code is really not that bad. I know it's got a bad rep, but trust me, I, I think Street Fighters is worse by comparison. Um, we've had Washington State to Florida matches that have had less than four frames of lag on a regular basis, so I, I think it's just fine. Um, and of course, if you are interested in all in joining us on Monday nights, uh, we kick these off at 9 p.m. right here at Matchstick Melee. It is a weekly tournament. This is number 54. I plan on having a number 55 and keep it on going until we're back to IRL events again. Um, we're out of the Midwest, uh, Ohio specifically, so if you're in a good range of us, Feel free to sign up every Monday night. We'll post on Twitter, we'll post on Facebook, we'll post on Discord. Uh, keep you guys in the loop. You can come through and uh, play with the rest of us. Hey, take down Blar Lad. He's sitting in the dunk tank. All you got to do is throw that baseball. Win a prize! <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully we see more of you come uh, back through next week. That would be that would be absolutely wonderful. We'll, we'll take all of you. Um, and I guess with that, uh, let's go ahead and go through the thanks real quick. So, uh, Drew, sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, back here, Sky647, at the start of the night, uh, subscribed uh, for the seventh month in a row with Prime. Thank you, sir. He also gifted a one-month uh, tier one sub to Abe and uh, Kuroiki Haku, so thank you for that as well. Uh, what a guy, what a guy. Uh... Drooler followed. Thank you, sir. MF Aku followed. Otashi o uh, FGC. Brian F followed. Brian F followed me. I don't deserve that. <laughs> he also rated with a party close of 500. I don't deserve that either. I'm just a guy in a chair. Uh, I'm the end. Double X. Thank you for the follow. Joey Tattoos. That's a cool name. That sounds like a guy who gets you, get you in trouble and gets you out of trouble on the street. Uh, the Soulless Men. That's a good one, too. Uh, Visorx. Civilized Worm 12. I can only assume that he murdered the other 11 and shouted something about living in a civilization. Lettuce Girl Uwu. I, you know what? I've got nothing against that name. Lettuce Girl is, is a good start. Uh, Deppin Ho Game? All right. I have no idea what the play is there, but I like it just the same. Wolf on Bath Salts. Soul of the Blood of the Wolf on Bath Salts. Very nice. Very nice. Uh... Roshano one. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Snapcast. Thank you. Matthias Castillo, bro. Mats. Mats. We gotta stick together. This, this is this is nothing but brotherhood right here. Thank you for that. Destination Arcade. Awesome. I hope that's a real place I get to visit someday. Thank you for the follow. Juice Root. Good stuff. Thank you, sir. Icy Grips. Thank you. D Hoyt. Thank you. And uh, again, Matt. Matt Asuntha. Thank you for the follow. You guys. You guys really rock. Thank you for sticking around and watching Grand Finals tonight. Uh, you guys really made my evening, especially after such the rocky start that we had. Um, yeah, I hope you guys continue to enjoy Matchstick Melee and keep an eye out for us because we will be getting back out there for IRL events again. Uh, we were doing our thing as a travel streamer. You might have seen us at Combo Breaker, at uh, Frosty Faustings, up at ComboCon. Uh, uh, whatever the Michigan one is. Come on, brain. It doesn't matter. Uh, it'll matter again eventually, but it doesn't matter for right now. But you'll see us. We'll be, we'll be out there. When Evo's a thing again, we'll be out there too. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. We're not through this thing yet. Uh, please get your vaccines when, when and if you're able to. Keep wearing your mask, washing your hands, all that good stuff. We love you. We want to see you all again after this is all over. That is all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much once again. 
and peace.